My great-grandfather had been a cattle buyer in uh, England, so he uh, started feeding cattle north of uh, the Loop River and uh, also got into agriculture. He and my great-grandmother ended up uh, building a grain elevator in Palmer, Nebraska for a source of grain to feed the cattle. And then uh, when uh, my grandfather and great-uncle were fairly young, my great-grandfather was knocked off a haystack and broke his neck and he was killed. And so it left my great-grandmother and uh, her two boys uh, to kind of pick up the pieces. And so she must have been pretty strong-willed because uh, she was pretty successful. And then uh, my great-uncle Tom and my grandfather George became partners and um, that's kind of how they got started. So I grew up in Palmer and uh, we had every opportunity to work as hard as we wanted to, I can tell you that. Because uh, I think I was raking hay when I was 11 or 12. It's something you never forget. Yeah. You know, you're brought up with that mentality, it kind of sticks with you. Well, through the years, my family's always been a, a supporter of Exarban. There's probably nothing more important than uh, agriculture as far as Nebraska is concerned. It means we're dealing with people that uh, know how to work hard, have uh, great core values. Their word is as good as a handshake. We kind of agree with that philosophy. I remember one thing, uh, when I was a kid, if uh, if you didn't do it right the first time, you didn't have time to go back and do it a second time. <clears throat> That's just kind of the philosophy of the people around here. They work hard, they do it right the first time because they don't have time to go back and do it again. And we admire that. <laughs>